and faithful. You saw that movie? Was yeah. he hot in that movie? He was hot in that movie. movie. Yeah, it was pretty sexy. It co-stars with Angelina Jolie in the new movie Taking Lies, which opens uh, tomorrow. Please welcome Olivia Martinez. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks. First time. First time. First time. Nerve wracking. Now, now you were you you're born and raised in France. Right in France. In, in yeah. the city, in the country. In Paris. Oh, right in Paris. Well, thank you. Yeah. Right in Paris. Okay. Acting family? No, no, no. <laughs> well, in a, in a, in a way, yes, but not officially. They were boxers. Your family was boxers? Yeah, my my dad is is a uh, old champ. A and champ? Yeah. What division? My dad was a fighter too. Which? Boxer? My dad could beat the crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what weight division? All right, let's go. <laughs> let's what, do it. What weight? The middle weight? Middle light? weight. Middle oh, weight. Well, my dad was lightweight. So see? See, but, but he, he'd step it's up. It's a bit the opposite with us, no? <laughs> yeah, I have broken my nose, actually. <laughs> Welcome you, to the club. Did you, did you box also? Yeah, I have a few fights just for fun, but not really, nothing serious. Now, mine were not for fun. I just got beat up. <laughs> did you want to be like your dad? Did you want to be? Well, as I said, you know, it's like when you're... Your dad is a pianist. You have a piano in the living room, so right. when, sooner or later you touch the piano. And maybe okay. sooner or later yeah, I go on the ring. But yeah. life didn't want to me didn't want me to be a fighter, so yeah, okay. I become an actor. Better to become the lover. <laughs> the, how you said? The lover. The lover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I'm, uh, I'm learning, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm practicing English. But Martinez is a Spanish name, isn't it? Claro. The, the what? That means clear. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> She's Latina too. <laughs> yeah, right. He's big family, Here's small family? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like so German. <laughs> really? Yeah, very. Deutschland, yeah. yeah. Dutch or Germany? Ja, Deutschland is Germany. I, I didn't go to school, so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> now, your dad, you, you told me, owned a garage? Yeah, yeah. In okay. fact, in my family, they are, well, it's like a movie, you know. There were eight brothers. For, eight brothers? Yeah, Spanish from North Africa. Right. And the tradition in the family, it was first to be a, a fighter yeah. and at a pretty good level, professional fighters, pretty famous, and after to become a mechanic. Okay. So, yeah. A mechanic? Did you want to be, did you, did you work with your dad? Uh, well, I spent a lot of time in the gym and in the garage. Yeah, yeah. Since between three and, let's say, 33. Oh, okay. I spent a lot of yeah. time. But I never, I was not allowed to fix the cars because my dad didn't like his job. Instead of some of my, my uncles who loved the job, my dad yeah. didn't like to be a mechanic. He was a mechanic because he didn't have any choice. So he said, son, don't touch the tools. So I never, I was never able to fix a car. Oh, okay. With oh. the shame in the family. Yeah, okay. So when did you come to the United States? Why or when? When? When, when did you first come? First time, it's uh, when I was 18 years old. Okay, did you speak English? No. <laughs> uh, so you come here, wh wh where do you land? Where, where do you go? You I, I you end are? up in Washington, D.C. Okay, Washington, D.C., and then what do you do? You don't speak the language. I don't speak the language. Yeah, it's a little story. I didn't speak the language. I didn't have a lot of money at that time. And I crossed the country to go to San Francisco because I was supposed to meet people there, and I take the Greyhound You the take bus. the Greyhound bus? Yeah. Three days and two nights on the bus to go, <laughs> and three days and two nights on the bus to come back because after I end up in New York. Were you, were you surprised how big America was? Did you think you got on the bus in San Francisco four hours later? Oh, no, <laughs> no. I, 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 was not, I was surprised, but I was not expecting anything specifically. What, what did you expect? Okay, you didn't speak English. You get a, did you think Greyhound was a fancy way to travel? <laughs> well, it was the only one that I could afford, so I didn't okay. really choose. <laughs> well, how did people treat you? They treat you Very well, because yeah. I have some, some changement, some transfer to do. Okay. So I thought as, as soon as I am in the bus, I will end up in the other part of the country and nobody will bother me. Oh, you just so get on the bus. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> no. You have transfer. So I didn't know that and, and didn't speak English. So fortunately for me, some people helped me a lot. And oh, okay. It's true that during this trip in America, it was the first time I was in America. And, and since never, people were so kind and so helpful with me. Oh, that's nice. I'm good. good. Nice, yeah. Well, how did you learn English? How did you learn? <laughs> Watching TV. Watching TV? <laughs> Well, I tell you, I never learned anything at school, so I find so another way. What shows did you watch? Uh, yeah, you know, it's a kind of TV show. I, I have my favorite one, is I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy? Yeah. So <laughs> I identify myself to Ricky Ricardo. Can you do Ricky Ricardo? Can no, I can't do it. Don't even ask. <laughs> oh, Lucy! You say like that. I can do Lucy. Uh, no. 
<laughs> now, what has been your biggest mistake with the language? Did you make any big problems? I make a huge one. Uh, it was first time I came here to promote a movie. It was The Horseman on the Roof. Okay. It was a French movie. Yeah. And so the producers asked me to come. And I said, yeah, you are going to make a tour in America, promoting the movie in every city every day. I say, yeah, okay. But I don't speak English. He said, oh, who cares? And just come. <laughs> so I end up here, and I started to... You know, each movie, you have a little story to tell. So right. because it was a horseman, I said I liked uh, to ride horse. <laughs> you like to ride horse? Yeah, because in fact, I confused myself with horses. Right. It's stupid, but I didn't know that. And for two weeks, nobody tell me anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> so all over the country, people were watching the TV and reading the newspapers, and they see these freaky guys who said, I like to ride horse. I love to ride the horse. <laughs> and at the end, at the end of the trip, somebody said, you mean horses? I say, yes. What did I say? You say, well, whore. I say, I don't ride whore. I mean, it's, I don't even know where to put the saddle on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm French, you know. A little French joke there. Yes, yeah, it's French humor. Uh, now, I, I heard you broke your back, too, one time. Yeah, motorcycle accident. Riding the whore? Yeah, no. Riding no, no. the whore. Riding the whore. Oh, you have bikes? No, I'm you? safe. You and I would get along good, because you could be the handsome <laughs> guy, and I could be like your dorky <laughs> best friend. <laughs> but, uh, we should ride. See, I could, you could be the handsome guy, and I could be the dorky best friend. You know what I'm saying? You still ride I heard you have a, a bike with a jet m engine in it. Oh, yes, it's a great bike. Be, What's the like? point to have a jet engine in a bike? You're in America. That's, that's why. That's this true, is America. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm lost. <laughs> this is the land of excess. Of yeah. course. That's why you do it. That's why you do it. Now, tell us about uh, Taking Lives. This is filmed in, in Montreal, yeah. which I think is the most beautiful city in North America. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah, city. Yeah, it's very interesting because it's a kind of American city with French people in it. Right, right. That uh, obviously doesn't fit, and that's made the charm of the city, I yeah. guess. <laughs> okay. And tell us what it's about. Give, give us a little... I can't pitch the movie. It's too uh, many words. Too many words? It's well, too complicated. It's, it's a, it's a thriller. I mean, we can tell the plot. I so mean, I'm just a guy who is not very happy because... You're a policeman. Yeah. I'm yeah. a street... Uh, I have a street background. He's right. a guy a little bit black and white, yeah. very rational. You right. can't really mess with him. Right. And you have this sweet police, police woman who comes from... Uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. yeah. FBI agent. FBI agent, yeah. yes. Uh, now, we have an outtake. We have an issue. We have an outtake from the film. I think this is where they surprised you one day. You uh, know what this is? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, let's take a look. Take I haven't it. seen it. Yeah, let's take a look. Do I need to look smart? No, not Ready. And action. Caucasian male. Yes. Around 16 years of age. Killed in a car accident. Identified from his wallet and clothing as Martin Theodore Asher. The police report on the fire had some contradictions, you know. Like what? According to his mother, Martin Asher had only broken one bone in his life. The left radius falling off the chair. Ah! <laughs> Let's show the real clip from the film. Here we go. Take a look. Psychopath brain. Hmm. You learn a lot of that kind of stuff at the FBI, don't you? 